Hello, hello. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Natalie. I am your yoga guide in this little corner of the internet. If you have practiced with me before, welcome back to the mat. Today's practice is for your mindful mornings. Really fine to practice this at any time of day, but if you're looking to start your morning from a place of mindfulness and intention, that's what this practice is designed for. If you are a yoga teacher who's looking to build your confidence with sequencing, with theming, uh, with taking your teachings online, I've got an online community for you to join. That will be in the description below. And if you're interested in practicing with me live and in real time online, I will share a link to that in the, in the description below as well. I would love to meet some of you um, for some live classes. All right, for today, there are no prompts that you should absolutely need um, other than your yoga mat. As always, if you have prompts at home, um, I encourage you to have them around your mat just in case you decide you would like to use any of them during this practice. All right, my friends, grab any prompts that you want, unroll your mat, and we are gonna begin right here in a tall seat. Alrighty, come on into your tall, comfortable seat. Um, I'm sitting up on a block. You can choose to do the same, uh, or you can choose to sit on a cushion or a bolster, or maybe just on your mat. The legs can be in any configuration that feels best for you. You don't have to sit with the legs crossed like I am. Hands can rest wherever feels best, on the thighs, on the knees, in your lap. And invite the eyelids to close. And if closing the eyes does not feel right today, you can gently lower the gaze towards the earth. We're just trying to take the attention inward a little bit. As you bring your attention inward, take a moment and notice what it feels like to exist in this vessel of your body today. Notice what it feels like to breathe in this body. And notice how you're feeling energetically in this moment. And as you sort of take inventory of everything you're bringing with you here onto the mat, start to think outward and forward into your day and consider the energy that you want to bring to it. Who do you want to show up as here uh, on this day? Notice if you are already aligning with that energy or if something needs to shift somewhere. I invite you to greet this practice and this time on the mat with that same energy that you want to greet the rest of your day. Go ahead and take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and let something go. And then opening the eyes. Go ahead and come on into your tabletop position, hands and knees. Shoulders directly over the wrists and the hips directly over the knees. On your inhale, arch the spine, lift the heart, lift the tailbone. On your exhale, round the spine, puff up the back, bring the chin in towards the chest. Inhale as you arch. Then exhale as you round. Take three more rounds of your cat cow here. Bringing some awakening and aliveness to the spine. 
one more here. And then coming to a neutral spine, go ahead and extend the right leg long and back. Really reach through the right heel like you're trying to press a wall away from you. Feel the belly firming up the navel, gently pressing up towards the spine. And then return the right knee to the earth. Extend the left leg long and back, reach through the left heel. Think about one long line of energy all the way from the crown of your head to the left heel. And then return the left knee back onto the earth. From here, start to make some circles um, directly over the wrists. So the torso is gonna come forward and then around. So you're making circles right over the hands and then reverse the direction of your circle. So bringing a bit more weight into the wrists, just kind of warming them up a little bit. Awesome, and then from here, tuck the toes, lift the knees and hips, come on into your downward facing dog and keep your knees really bent. So with your knees really bent, think about your hips reaching really high to the sky, the chest pressing back towards the legs. Lightly engage your belly so you're not arching, um, you're not dumping into the lower back with the arch. So it's kind of a, a safe arch in the spine. Press the earth away with the hands. Think about trying to um, wrap the eyes of the elbows forward. It's sort of like you're trying to turn your armpits forward. Keep all of that active and maybe start to straighten the legs a little bit. Maybe you can bring them all the way straight, maybe not. Either way is totally fine. Keeping a bend in the knees and downward facing dog is a beautiful place to be. And then walk the feet up to your hands, finding hip width distance between the feet. Keep a bend in the knees, let the torso and head hang heavy towards the earth. You can shake out the head here, yes and no. You can sway side to side. You can find a stillness, really whatever speaks to you here in this first forward fold. On your next inhale, lift halfway, lengthening crown of the head forward. And as you exhale, fold down over your legs. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bring hands to hips. Keep a bend in the knees. Come to stand with the flat back. Beautiful. Go ahead and bring the big toes to touch, finding your uh, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Root down through the feet. Feel a sense of lift and length. Travel up through the legs and up through the spine. On your inhale, lift the arms up high. On your exhale, hinge at the hips as you fold over your legs. Go ahead and step the right foot way back, finding a lunge, bringing the right knee onto the earth. As you inhale, lift the arms, lift the torso, find Anjaneyasana. As you exhale, bring the hands onto the earth and step the left foot back, finding your downward facing dog. Shift forward into a plank pose, finding a nice strong plank, shoulders over wrists, navel to spine. Press the earth away, gazes towards the front edge of your mat. Take another big inhale. And as you exhale, lower the knees to the earth and then lower the torso to the earth. On your inhale, open the heart forward, find your cobra pose. And as you exhale, take the hips up and back, find downward facing dog. Step the right foot in between your hands. Left knee will come onto the earth. On your inhale, lift the torso and the arms. Find your Anjaneyasana. And then as you exhale, bring hands back down. Step the left foot up to meet the right and fold over your legs. On your inhale, come all the way up to stand. Arms lift. And exhale, bring hands into heart. Inhale, lift the arms up high. Exhale as you fold. 
As you inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. And then step the left foot way back. Bringing the left knee onto the earth, bring the left palm onto the earth. As you inhale, lift the right arm all the way up to the sky. Think about shining the heart forward to the right side. Notice if the left shoulder starts to collapse towards um, the front of your mat, sort of forward and down. Reach the shoulder blades back towards one another. Find that opening through the heart. Take one more big breath in. And as you exhale, bring the right hand onto the earth. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, pull the hips back, straighten the right leg a little or a lot, Ardha Hanuman. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. Exhale, maybe lower the torso a little bit further over the right leg. Rebend the right knee, plant the palms, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step the right foot back, find downward facing dog. On an inhale, shift forward, plank pose. Exhale, option to lower the knees or you can keep them lifted if you feel ready for Chaturanga. On your inhale, open the heart, find your cobra or upward facing dog. And as you exhale, lift the hips up and back, find your downward facing dog. And step the left foot in between the hands. The right knee comes onto the earth, right palm to the earth as the left arm lifts up high to the sky. Press the earth away with the right hand. Spin the heart open towards the left side, reaching left fingertips high and maybe turning the gaze up towards the left fingertips if that feels okay on the neck today. One more big breath in. As you exhale, left hand to the earth. Take an inhale here, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, pull the hips back, straighten left leg a little or a lot. Take another inhale to find a bit more length. As you exhale, maybe fold a little bit more. Rebend the left knee, plant the palms and step the left foot back, find downward facing dog. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open the mouth, let that go. Allow yourself to come back to your intention for today, to the energy that you want to bring to this day. And notice if you are in alignment with that energy here in this moment. And if you are, how can you further um, like marinate in that energy? And if you're not quite there yet, what needs to shift in order for you to find that? Step the right foot in between your hands. Bring left heel onto the earth, finding a Virabhadrasana 2. So heel to arch alignment, sitting down into the right leg, arms reaching strong in opposite directions, shoulders stacked directly above the hips. Go ahead and straighten the right leg, turn the right toes so they come parallel uh, so the right foot comes parallel to the left, hands come onto hips as you inhale, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, hinge at the hips and fold over your legs, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Hands can come onto the earth, maybe in line with the feet, if that's available. Distribute the weight evenly along both feet. Bring hands under shoulders as you inhale, lengthen through the spine. Bring hands onto hips and come all the way up to stand. Turn your left toes to face the back of your mat, bringing the left foot in line with the arch of the right foot and sit down into your Virabhadrasana two, facing the back of your mat with the left knee bent. Strong arms, gaze is over the left middle finger. One more breath here. 
and then straighten the left leg, turn the left toes, find parallel feet once again, and this time interlace the fingers behind the back, so clasping the hands. As you inhale, think about lifting the heart up to the sky, and as you exhale, fold once again over the legs as the arms come up and overhead. Think about reaching the shoulder blades back towards one another, so maybe imagine uh, like a pencil sitting right between the shoulder blades. And you're trying to squeeze the pencil so it doesn't fall out. Keep the legs nice and active so the kneecaps are pulling up towards the hips. And notice if all the weight is sitting back in your heels and see if you can bring some of that weight towards the balls of your feet. Go ahead and release hands onto the earth, hands under shoulders, inhale, lengthen spine. And then walk the hands to the front of your mat Plant the palms and step the right foot back. Find downward facing dog. Go ahead and bring the knees onto the earth. Shift the hips over to one side, coming onto a seat. And we're going to come into a seated um, pigeon. So make sure that you're sitting up on your sit bones, sits bones, sitting bones, <laughs> and not rolling back on tailbone. If you find that you are sort of rolling back and rounding into the spine, bring a um, blanket or a towel or a small cushion under your seat so that you can sit up tall. We're going to extend the left leg forward just a little bit and cross the right ankle just above the left knee. Make a figure four in your legs. And then you can bring the hands behind you to support you and you choose how close or how far you'd like that left foot to be. So maybe you keep it Extend it a bit farther out. Maybe you bring it in really, really close. Up to you. Gently press into the hands as you lift the heart towards the legs. And imagine that you could send the breath into that outer right hip and find a bit more softening and opening there with each breath. And then go ahead and extend the left leg long on your mat. You're going to bring the sole of the right foot flat onto your mat just outside the left knee. So the right leg is crossing over the left. Right hand will come behind you like a little kickstand. Make sure you're flexing the left foot back towards you. Lift the left arm by the ear. As you inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, twist to the right from the belly, the ribs, the shoulders. Option to hug the, the right leg with the left arm or you can hook the elbow depending on how this feels for you. And then bring the gaze over the right shoulder. And then turning head, shoulders, ribs, and belly to center. We'll take that on the other side. So taking the right leg out in front of you, crossing left ankle just above the right knee, hands behind you to support you, bringing the right foot in a little or a lot. You choose what works best for you. This side will probably feel a little different from the other side. So you might need to, um, your positioning of the right foot might be a little different and that's okay. Kind of extend the right leg long. Left leg crosses over right, bringing sole of the left foot flat onto the mat just outside the right leg. Left hand behind you, right arm lifts. Inhale, find length. Exhale, twist to the left from the belly, the rims, the shoulders. Either hug or hook the elbow as you bring the gaze over the left shoulder. And then turning head, shoulders, ribs, and belly to center. Releasing the left leg. Go ahead and come all the way onto your back. 
hugging the knees in towards the chest, giving them a squeeze. And then extending your legs long for a brief Shavasana. Feet about as wide as your mat, maybe wider. Arms resting by the sides of your body with the palms turned up. Take a big breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. Come back to your intention for this day. And come back to the energy that you want to bring out into the world. And see if you can embody that energy here in this final resting pose. And if you have more time for Shavasana and you would like to stay, please do stay. Otherwise, start to bring some gentle movement back into the body, wiggling fingers and toes. Extend the arms long overhead, take a nice long stretch. And then bring the soles of your feet flat onto your mat. And turn on to the side of your choice. And using the top hand to help press you up, make your way back into a tall seat. Feel yourself root down through your sitting bones. Find length through the spine. Coming back to your intention for this day. Allowing it to stay with you throughout your day. And 
and using a deep cleansing breath to bring you back to this energy and to this intention when it feels like you are maybe straying from it a little bit. Kind of bring the palms to touch at heart center and bow the head gently towards the hands. Thank you so much for allowing me to lead you in this practice today. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for joining me here on the mat for this mindful morning practice. I will meet you right back here on the mat next time.